there, it's Tracy Elsom, Independent Stampin' Up! Demonstrator based in Canada. Today I am going to video myself working out a design for a goose, which is the goose here from the Wetland Stamp Set. And I had this idea for putting him in a sort of an early morning, misty kind of scene. Um, I have no idea how it's going to turn out. But I'm going to video it anyway and we'll see what happens. Okay, so we're going to start with the goose from the Wetland Stamp Set. I'm going to give this a really good ink up. Right, I deliberately haven't cut this card down to size to fit a card front. Um, the reason being is I may want to use some more of the sponge seam um, for inside the card. So I thought if I do it all in one go, then the piece that I cut off could be used there without any problems. So I have stamped the goose from the Wetland Stamp Set onto the Whisper White card using basic black archival ink. I've already stamped the same image onto a full adhesive post-it note and this is um, kind of a post-it note in reverse. Instead of having a piece of paper with a thin strip of um, adhesive at the top, this is a piece of paper with adhesive for most of the paper with just a small piece underneath that doesn't have adhesive, if that makes sense. Okay, so I'm going to carefully place my goose so I stamped it onto the post-it note then I've used my paper snips to cut him out and I'm just putting him into place that will just protect him from getting uh, coloured while I colour the rest of the piece so <clears throat> this is it no idea how this is going to turn out but we'll see what happens so I've got some stamping sponge and I have got soft sky ink so i'm going to start off just by very loosely stamping and sponging some whoops put his foot down there we go this post-it note's been used once before so it's not behaving okay so that is really rough. Um, you can see there's lots of splotchy areas. There's areas where there's blue, darker, and there's lighter. But to be honest, that's exactly what I want because when you think about sky, it never is all one colour. So now I've got some sponge and I've got some soft sky. Sorry, that was soft sky I've already done. This is smoky slate. So again, I'm just tapping over the top. And because this is early morning, I think that uh, grey works very well. Okay, now the next colour that I'm going to use is Wisteria Wonder. Again, it's, it's a colour that I often see in the sky early morning. Our cat Houdini has us getting up quite early. And many a sunrise I've spotted. Right, okay, so that's enough of that. Now I want to brighten it up a little bit. So now I have pink pirouette. And I'm going to add some bits of pink. It takes time when you're using light colours. It does take time for them to build up enough for you to really see. Um, but it's worth the effort. There we go. Okay, so I think maybe we should do some ground. Now I want the ground to be quite dark because you don't tend to see the ground so much first thing in the morning so I've got some always artichoke ink and I'm going to grab a sponge 
for always artichoke you'll see that I actually have one stamp for every colour just because it makes life easier for me there we go okay so there's my background that's before I do any more with the goose I'm going to look at that yeah that looks fine so let's take the goose off the top there we are much better okay so now let's get the my aqua painter I'm going to color him I think with some I think I'm going to do it with soft suede actually let's put a little bit of soft suede ink over his body so I've just got my aqua painter it's, it's just damp so now I'm just going to him in not being particularly careful or precise about where I put the, the color after all the image itself is quite sketchy so the color could be quite sketchy as well let's just add a little bit more up there there we go I think that looks okay his breast is quite bright so I think what I'm going to do is just add a little bit of <coughs> smoky slate just over the breast there just to tone it down a little bit that's better right so there's the colors now I think what I'll do is I'll add some reeds. And right now my stamps are deciding to be a little bit difficult. Um, they don't want to stay attached to my blocks, which sometimes happens with clear mount stamps. So my trick and it's generally because the, um, the either the stamps or the block is dirty it's got oil or um, little bits of dust and stuff on it or it's because the humidity is wrong in the room and it's either too humid or not humid enough so my solution is to get some very cheap um, hand sanitizer clean the block clean the back of your stamp and then you'll find that it will stick so I'm just going to put him back over there for the moment I don't want to get him ruin the colors on there so I've gone back to my always artichoke and I'm just going to add few reads. This is also from the wetland stamp set. So I'll just stamp a few of those. And then when I take him off again, there we are. The reeds are behind him. So with that all done, I'm just going to create a little bit of a misty effect. So I've got Whisper White Craft ink and a piece of stamping sponge and I am literally just going to rub this over the whole thing to create that kind of misty I think that's fine 
So I'll just let that dry. Whisper White Craft, it does take a little time to dry. So I'll let that dry a little bit and then I'll show you the finished card when it's done. Okay, so what I've done now is I have trimmed down my misty seam uh, and mounted it onto a piece of Whisper White card with Tombow Multipurpose Glue. Uh, on the inside of the Wisteria Wonder card base, I've put a piece of Whisper White card and I've stamped the same Reed's image with Always Artichoke ink just to make that uh, coordinate. And I've done the same on the front of a Whisper White envelope. So all that's left now is to mount this uh, front panel onto my Wisteria Wonder card. I do like to use quite a few stamping dimensionals only because I don't like to see the card bending in the middle which it has a tendency to do if you just put a few it ends up all floppy so do you know what at a couple of cents each I'm not going to quibble about these stamping dimensionals I'd much rather use them and have the recipient of the card feel that they've actually got a card that's well put together and uh, looks as if it's worth having so we'll just pull off these backs of these dimensionals I've actually got a little tabletop rubbish bin over here to my right which is where all these tops are going and then I will just put this into place I can see what I'm doing here there we go okay so that's my card a nice goose in a misty morning I hope you like it thanks very much for watching bye